Mac has been working on the mural about four weeks now. So the wall, it's within walking distance of the San Jose Museum of Art, so where we are now. And we wanted to keep it in downtown to keep it kind of part of the same conversation. Um, but there's this great wall next to the Children's Discovery Museum. Um, there's an odd architectural element that was designed for a building that was not eventually built there. So it's right by the light rail. Um, and it's on Discovery Meadow Park, which is where you know the fireworks at 4th of July are there. Um, the races begin there. It's, it's one of the, the places that the city programs. And it's right by the Children's Discovery Museum. And Mac was talking about doing an image of a, of a child. It's perfect. So that's the wall. Everyone I talk to has changed their, uh, their driving paths to work so they can go by the wall and, and watch the progress. Actually, when we even first started floating the idea of doing this project with El Mac here, I mentioned it to some people on the street, you know, some hairdresser, you know, some other people, and they all knew who he was. I was like, well, that's the obvious fit. <laughs> I mean, there's a mural culture here. People have looked around it all. And so I started talking to them, too. Uh, Juan Carlos at Empire 7 and mentioned so I'm thinking about doing this mural with this artist El Mac. Do you know him? And of course Carlos was like, oh, I've been trying to get him. So it, yeah, it was a great fit. And then everything just kind of snowballed from there because the conversations about where we were going to put it. You know, I'm an art museum curator, so I work within temporary galleries most of the time. So to do something permanent in a public space is a totally different animal. So, you know, presenting in City Hall, um, working with partners at the Children's Discovery Museum once we established that that would be the site, getting designs okayed, all this kind of stuff. So it's a it's totally collaborative in a way that's different. He's painting um, a portrait of Sophie Cruz, who is now nine years old. Um, but she kind of first started getting headlines when the Pope was in Washington, D.C. four years ago. And she kind of broke ranks, ran through the police line to give the Pope a letter, essentially asking him to speak out on behalf of the undocumented. So now she's sort of a face of immigration advocacy. Um, she just gave a great speech at the Women's March in Washington. I know she visited Obama in the White House. I don't think the current administration will invite her. <laughs> uh, but just, a, you know, just this really strong young person and I don't think Mac knew her before. Tuan and Mac went out to photograph her once we decided she was going to be the subject. And you know, Mac says, "How do you want to? How do you want to pose? What do you want to be holding?" And she is the one that decided. She ran inside to get a globe. She knew exactly. She, I want, I want to hold the world. So she ran inside to get a globe and she grabbed a flower, which is pretty. There's a lot of amazing things in that. Both that she is, she as an individual is so self-possessed to. I mean, if someone asked me, what do you want to hold in a portrait? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I would grab, but that she already knew and was self-possessed enough to do that. And then also the, the thoughtfulness that Mac brings to it in letting someone present themselves. So he's not, you know, giving her a teddy bear or something to be holding, but that whatever message she wants to get across, that's what he's gonna depict. I don't know that I had any expectations for how he was going to do it. He's he's very methodical. Um, I won't say he's slow. He is slow, but it's because of the attention that he's bringing to it. I mean, today he was just he was pointing out the really subtle colors. So there's the bright orange and the grays and the blacks, but the the really subtle colors he's putting in the dress and the flower, which. I think actually a lot of people wouldn't necessarily recognize or notice 
but it changes the way you see the overall thing, um, which is incredible. And he does it in the dark. I don't know how he does it in the dark. <laughs> Mac is astoundingly low key. Um, and he just takes takes his fans in stride. I mean, he, he has more street recognition than anybody I've worked with before. Um, having, you know, fan notes left on his lift. That's a... <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> um... Yeah, but he's, no, he's great. He knows what he's looking for. He was really conscientious in terms of the details, the gesture, you know, the attention to the, the particular gesture of the hand or the, the way, the specificity of the way the thumb is posed, those kinds of details he's really concerned with, um, which, you know, I very much appreciate coming from a, like a fine art, fine art background and, the dialogue that he has with old masters and this history of pictorial representation um, is really great. 